Hey guys, James Wise with Holton Wise. Today I'm sitting with Juliana Matter Varner of the Varner team. Today she has another multifamily listing that she wanted us to present to you guys. Let's dive in. All right, according to my notes here, the team told me that this is a triplex. What did you price this at? Yes, I priced it $185,000. Okay, $185,000. That's kind of on the higher end of the pricing spectrum. So I'm assuming you got a pretty high rent roll. What do you have in regards to rents? What's going on with this property? So James, it's a triplex with uh, two three bedrooms and one two bedroom. You guys already have three tenants in there, right? Yes, it's fully rented. They gave me on the note sheet here, they told me you were bringing this in with uh, 1915 rent? Yes. Okay, cool. So the breakdown that I got was 785, 665, and 500. So obviously, the 785 and the 665, those are the three bedroom units? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so then the five, the $500, you know, the $500 rental, that's obviously the two bedroom unit. Now, just based on, you know, this address right here and the, you know, the bed bath count, I think, you know, 1950 in rent, that's pretty impressive, but I, I honestly think that this particular seller is kind of missing the mark a little bit. I, I think those are a little bit lower. Like, I know over there in that Edgewater neighborhood, you know, we have all the trendy nightlife, Edgewater Park, you know, when people talk about the revival of Cleveland, you know, they're talking about Gordon Square, Tremont, yes. Edgewater. Those are the neighborhoods. I looked at some of the photos that you guys had sent in of the property. You know, nothing is like too special, right? I mean, you know, let's run some of the photos on the screen here. A as you guys see, you know, it's a little bit messy and it's just nothing fancy like that kitchen right there. You know, that's not high end or anything of that nature. Now. As a standalone investment though, 1950, that's great. But the reason I'm like kind of beating up on the, the pictures or your property, I'm not trying to beat up on your investment, but you know, nothing is like beautiful to me. I think that after we remove these tenants, Juliana, I actually believe the Holton Wise could really increase the value here and increase the rentals. Cause I believe if we put five, six, seven thousand dollars into these units, I'm talking agreeable gray paint, buffed hardwoods, granite countertops new kitchen cabinets, I, I see us being able to bring in 900, 900 out of those two three bedrooms. And that one bedroom over there, I think we could probably get that up to 650. So 1950, what you're bringing us right now, love that, love that as a cash flow investment. But I'm thinking long term, I think we can get that up to 2450. What are your thoughts? So James, I'm a crazy mama. So, <laughs> yes. so if you think about, we have a school very close to the house. Todas as mães brasileiras gostam de ter seus filhos bem próximos. What means in English that all mothers likes to have your kids close to you. You don't need to take a bus. They just can walk to the school. This is really important. This is like a, you don't have too much this here. Because all, always is too far and needs to take bus and you spend time, everything. So this is really good because the, the people going to um, rent this property, they stay there for a long time. Okay, guys, that's good. She's got a great point. You know, the tenants, they're close to the school, more likely to stay, less likely to turn over. As we all know, turnover is the biggest return killer. Yeah, I think we can increase the price because it's a good area. We have um, CSU line, uh, the bus line in okay. front of, in very very close so you can take your your bike you can go to the 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 lake it's yeah, very right close the lake. yeah, yeah it's good. really close the price i think is is going up <clears throat> okay so i i agree i agree with everything you're saying right when you guys are out there you know you're in california you're in portland you're down there in scottsdale you're looking at the Cleveland market and you're reading articles and you're hearing things about the revival happening. It's, it's not happening in every single neighborhood in Cleveland. There's a few choice neighborhoods that are very, very popular and this is absolutely one of them. I'm not saying you could only make money in these nice revival neighborhoods, but if you're trying to go for the long haul, if you're trying to have your cake and eat it too and you're trying to capitalize on the cash flow we have here in Cleveland and possible appreciation, I think this is where you want to be. Assuming somebody picked this up from us right now, and you know what, they're not really interested in that 1950, they want to have a top of the line investment, and they want to have us 
you know, increase these rents, move these folks out, really, you know, go for that high-end renovation, really capitalize on the fact that they're near the bus line, maybe appeal to the college kids. Um, how long are we looking here? I mean, are all three of these tenants locked into long-term leases, or do the landlords that are going to buy this, do they have a little bit of leverage, a little bit of leeway? Yeah, we have one is uh, long-term, is uh, a section eight, okay. and two are months and months. Okay, cool. So one, you can't do it right away, guys. One, you know, you have to let that lease ride. When you purchase an investment property here in Ohio, you know, landlord tenant laws are gonna require you to honor any lease that's existing. However, if we're not in the middle of a lease term, we're on what's called month to month. That means you as the landlord can change any terms any terms you want, all you need to do is provide the tenant a 30-day notice. You don't need to ask the tenant's permission, nor do you need to provide a reason for why you're changing. So what I recommend doing if we are going to go for that high-end renovation, I would just be totally fine with the Section 8 tenant. That is the tenant who's paying the most, correct? That's the 785? Yes, exactly. So that tenant that's bringing in 785 leave that tenant be. That is already your best income generator. So instead, I would focus on those two lower end rentals, you know, turn those units over first. Typically, you know, as we go down on the rental scale, your tenant is a little more difficult to manage. You're more likely to have turnover out of those units. Plus, you're making less money. So I would say those would be the ones we should target. And, and look, if you have a triplex, guys, you never want to move everybody out all at one time. You want to continue earning that cash flow from your 785 government guaranteed tenant while possibly repositioning those other two units. So I feel like we kind of got a good idea for the strategy. You know, this investment works for two kinds of investors. Those guys that want to just get the cash flow right now or possibly those folks who want to add some upside later. Maybe all you Burr folks out there might want to totally reposition the asset. Let's talk about the numbers. Let's just give these guys the facts real quickly. The taxes, how much are we looking at? 2,684. All right, cool. What year was it built? 1910. What about the big ticket items? That roof, I mean, this is a this is a huge duplex, so I mean, that's probably like a seven or $8,000 roof. How old is that no, roof? It's five years. It's oh, in so a good, it's yes, five years it's a old? Good shape. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Guys, just so you know, roofs on buildings like these out here in Cleveland, that is going to be a 30-year roof. So she's brought us a property with a roof that is only five years in. That thing has got 25 years of life left in it. Glad we don't have to worry about that capital expenditure. For more information on capital expenditures, budgeting for those, I want you to go ahead and click that video right there. I break them all down for you. So James, if you look at the house and outside, is it really good shape? You can see it's vinyl and you don't need like to spend money painting, nothing. Just okay. like a clean a little bit and it's done. Do we have vinyl windows or do we have original windows in this property? No, it's all uh, vinyl windows. Okay, that makes sense, of course, especially with the Section 8 tenant. We wouldn't have been able to put that tenant in there, but the other two are also the vinyl? Yes. Awesome, that's all what I'm them. talking about. Because another thing I, I want to press upon you guys, lead-based paint, you know, as Juliana said, this house built in 1910. So, you know, peeling paint, you know, that could be an issue if you have to abate that kind of stuff gets very, very pricey. And there's two, two places that you always deal with peeling paint. One is the outside if you have wood siding. Two is the windows. How about the furnaces? Two are 10 years old and one is uh, low maintenance because it's electrical. Oh, okay, cool. I'm gonna guess then that the furnaces are for the first floor and the second floor and that third floor unit exactly. is the all electric? Yes. That's good and that's a great point, guys. You know, less to maintain for you guys going forward. Furnaces, you know, these are only 10 years old. We are typically getting about 40. This, these are forced air furnaces, right? Yes. Okay, forced air furnaces, guys. We are getting about 40 years out of these suckers. When you need to replace those, again, take a look at my capital expenditure video where I break all those costs down. But quickly, you're looking at roughly $3,000. But we don't have to worry about that for another 30 years. So we got a roof that's good for another 25. We got two furnaces that are good for at least 30 with the third floor, us not even having to worry about that. How about those hot water tanks? Two are 2011 and one is 2008. Awesome. Those typically, guys, again, I want you to refer to that video, but they're going to last you roughly 15 years and the cost to replace those, that's $1,000. And that's $1,000 landed. I'm not talking like you have to buy it for $1,000. I'm talking Holton Wise will go in, do it for you, $1,000 out the door. And then the electric panel 
in the notes that you guys sent over, it looks like those were all updated. So we have breakers, no fuses, nothing like that to worry about. No, you can see in the pictures and okay. the website is all new. Perfect. James, another thing that is really good in this property is that uh, we don't have POS. Oh, that's good. POS, guys, for those of you that are not familiar, that stands for point of sale. In certain cities and suburbs here in the Cleveland area, the cities require you to get a point of sale inspection. What that means is the city is going to come in and they're going to cite various violations and legally the seller has to go ahead and clear those violations before they're allowed to transfer title or they could have the buyer assume those violations that typically is going to involve the buyer putting up an escrow amount let's say there was like a ten thousand dollar escrow that means you as the buyer would need to put ten thousand dollars in escrow at the city then spend your ten thousand a different ten thousand to actually fix those violations before the city will give you back your other ten thousand kind of a hassle I know we just did that Lakewood video the other day. Sometimes the POSs for Lakewood are annoying, but that one did come to us with clear POS. And this one, also, we don't have to worry about the POS because Cleveland itself, no POS. I love that about this property. All right, so I like the neighborhood. I think we got a good plan. All the mechanicals seem to be in pretty good condition. This seems like a pretty easy passive investment. Anything else you'd like me or all of our investor followers out there to know about this property? Yes, I have three special points here. Okay. The first one is that we have a good school just across the street. Behind the, the, the property, we have a lot of space for parking. And the best one is that the driveway is in good shape and you don't need to spend money. You know, the concrete is very expensive. That's true. Concrete repairs and, you know, cities where there are, you know, point of, point of sale cities, they always love to ding us investors for those concrete driveways. You could take a owner occupied property and they will own that thing for 40 years with the same five cracks in that driveway. And the moment that a rental property investor purchases it, the city's out there the very next day ready to cite you and you're looking at a five, six, seven thousand dollar driveway bill. Yeah. So the fact that we got a solid concrete, that's and great. And also the time, yeah. It's the, not like it's not easy, it's not fast. You you need to have time to do this <clears throat> this part of the concrete. That's true, guys. A lot of you are watching this and you have varying levels of experience in the rental property business. But what Juliana is saying is really gonna ring true to those of you out there who have been in the investment game for a long time. Try hiring yourself a concrete guy in July. You are gonna be waiting three weeks, four weeks, five weeks to even get a return phone call. Out here in the Cleveland area, these guys got to pack a whole year's worth of work into six months and they are busy. Myself, I run a $50 million portfolio. I have thousands of properties and I'm still waiting to get a call back. Guys, great stuff here. Thank you, Juliana, for bringing this property to us. One more thing I want to touch on while we're talking about this property is this is a triplex. As you guys know, if you're watching my content, if this is the first Holton Wise video you've ever seen, make sure you click the subscribe button. We are giving you guys education as well as investment opportunities. On top of that, we are showing you the worst of the worst. We are giving you tenants from health stories. It's not always sunshine and rainbows when you're investing in real estate. Anyway, back to the point I was trying to make before I went off into that tangent about how I want you guys to subscribe and then I plugged my various other businesses. Speaking of subscribing, did did you subscribe yet? If you haven't, you know, now's your opportunity. You can go ahead and still click that subscribe button. Anyway, triplexes and quads, guys. Those are my favorite types of investments, and I do tell you that in many, many videos. The reason being the financing. 30-year residential financing is the very best financing. The negative to 30-year residential financing is we are capped at 10 mortgages we can only get 10 residential mortgages in our name. So if you want, you can buy 10 single family houses. That means you have 10 rental checks coming in every month. Or you can utilize those 10 mortgages in the best way possible and buy yourself 10 triplexes or quads. You can have 30 to 40 checks coming in with those same 10 mortgages. That's why I love triplexes and quads. They're pretty scarce here in the Cleveland market. So whenever we have these properties, we get multiple offers. Juliana, thank you for bringing this to all of us. I would imagine many of you are going to want to write an offer on this property. If you'd like to write an offer on this property, you can do so by clicking the link below. 
you could write it through me or even better you can write it through Juliana herself all the information for her and the Varner team is going to be in the link below on top of subscribing to our channel did you subscribe yet now's your opportunity go ahead and click the subscribe button you can also subscribe to Juliana's mailing list. You see, I send out one investment property every day at 1 p.m. But on top of that, Juliana has her own mailing list and they are sending you opportunities off of the MLS that are different than what you see from me. So if you're subscribed to both of our mailing lists, you are seeing all of the deals we have out here in the Cleveland market. That's it for today. Again, I am James Wise with Holton Wise. This is Juliana Matter Varner, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video just like this one to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy. Ha! Ha ha ha! No, it's you not. You know we're still recording, right? That's going no. in the bloopers. <laughs>